to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. Is there anyone here for the two-minute open forum? Anyone here for two-minute open forum? Anyone here for two-minute open forum? All right, review and approve council agenda. Motion to approve. I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passed unanimously. Consent agenda items. Item A, approve signage for 2nd Street North. Item B, approve 2019 property casualty insurance. Item C, approve James Skaldarek Skaldarek <coughs> and Steve Himsel to seasonal public works positions. And item D, approve joint ship grant application with St. Joseph for bike rental program. Um, for B and D real quick. Somebody want to move to approve A and C? <coughs> Don't move. Second. Further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All is passed unanimously. Mike B. There were several options into this. Um, I seen what option is suggested to go with and One was a little cheaper as we did a few things with it there. That's based on um, the deductible and those are all offered every year. Um, we talk about them, I kind of compare our claims versus the higher deductible and it's pretty much still kind of a wash. We're, we're probably best off just staying where we're at because we do get claims and then we're paying higher on the deductible and not necessarily saving that much money. So that's the deductible. So which one did you want to go with? The higher the top deductible, one, yep. I guess? Yep, the one, the top one, the higher one. The, the, the $2,500 $2, deductible? The $2,500 deductible for the higher price. So you want a smaller deductible for a higher price? Yep. Good idea. It's, it, I compare it every year and it's, it really isn't, we wouldn't be saving anything by by having a higher deductible versus the, the um, premiums. All right. Any other questions? <coughs> we'll move to approve at the lower deductible. Second. Further discussion? All in favor? <coughs> Aye. Opposed? Passed unanimously. D? Um, D. Um, I'm not really against the program, however, how is this going to be maintained? Who's going to maintain it? Who's going to make sure the bikes are where they're supposed to be? Um, and what expense is that to the city once the, this gets going, if it gets approved? Well, we're only doing about 10 bikes at this point, so it's kind of a, it, it's kind of a test run to see how well this works. So some of this we're going to figure out as we go, but there's the stations where the bikes are, you can put the bikes back at those stations along that trail. And so those, those bike stations are proposed in St. Joe and here. And so it's just a test run to try. Um, the St. Joe approached us last week. It was like, you know, I'll throw it on the agenda and see if there's an interest in it. Um, there seems to be some interest with the with the trail um, running between there that it would be a great place for us to try. Um, we're getting used bikes, so the cost of the bikes are, are I think, about $600, I think, is what those bike used bikes are for this type of bike to go into those stations. Um, and so some of it we'll, we'll have to determine some of those initial, some of the questions that you have, Mike, we'll, we'll find that out as we get into it more. But there's not a lot of, I think our initial cost, if it's a 10% match, and so I think we're looking at about a $500 to $600 but match. my question is um, the maintenance on the bikes. It would be something that we'll have to work with St. Joe on doing. Or we find, a, you know, if there's somebody that's willing to volunteer to do some of that, we'll have to do that. But um, that would be it, ours. Who's going to keep track of where the bikes are? If St. Joe has nine, we have one. They, uh, we they'll it's all done with credit card. Yeah. yeah you put a credit, a credit card, card in, they I'm have it. If they have nine bikes in St. John, we need more bikes over here because yeah. people are looking. How are these bikes going to get transferred back and forth, and who's going to be responsible? And 
Both cities are working Deal. together to figure that out. As we figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Just an idea. I thought it was great to see the two cities working together on that, and we're kind of the pilot, and if it works out well and we can work out some of the bugs that you're talking about, then we'll be able to. There's not gonna. There's probably two stations that we're gonna have. So if it's not in one, it'll be in the other. And if it's not in either one of them, we'll be getting the credit card will be charged for that bike, and we can replace it. Right. And so s there is a fee um, for renting the bike. That is a very small fee. I think we're they were looking at like a dollar an hour um, to help do some of that maintenance. Now, granted, that's probably, you know, it might be minor. It's hard to say, but there may be some maintenance costs that we have with maintaining those bikes, but if it is a successful program and we add to it, then we can certainly look at how we can find other ways to make that work. But Was there an agreement as to how long this would go? Is it like a one-year test period or? We didn't really get into it. Okay. To be honest, I think Judy f saw an opportunity. She took the lead and she asked me and I said, I'll certainly put my name in it and if we're not interested, I'll let you know, but I think I thought it was a good opportunity for us to test it in our two cities being connected to the trail right now that as the other cities get connected to, if it works well. Um, it, this has been used in Wilmer. Um, I know that Richmond has a different program that we weren't really excited about because you had to go to a, you had to go to a, the gas, local gas station and leave your ID and I just didn't think that doing that and neither did Judy thought that that was really a worthwhile. Maybe it works well for them but I can just see lots of concerns with that. Um, and so she's getting a lot of the information, um, one from the APO and then also from Wilmer. So yeah, I don't have all the answers to for, for what you're asking, Mike. I'm just asking that we try it and see how it works. And if it's not something that is working well for us, we certainly have the ability to make those decisions down the road. Do you know if the stations are used as well? That's probably the most expensive part of this. Because it has the credit card. The stations and, and are parking. part of the grant, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, putting no, that are in. are they used, oh. or just the bikes? What do you mean <coughs> stations used? The station would be part The station of where the bikes go to get parked. Are they new bike? Are they new stations? Oh, I believe they're new stations. It's just the bikes that were used, from what I, so from what Judy told me. So for now, there's probably just one in Wade Park and one in St. Yeah. Jude, one station. Judy wrote right. the grant, so I've, yeah. I let her take the lead, and all I really needed to do was come and ask you guys if you were okay if we did it. Yeah, I think it's worth a try. Sure. Yeah. Please. We had discussions about this on the parks board, mm -hmm. year, you know, actually about three, four years mm -hmm. ago. Yeah, so we knew trails were going to be developed, and what we've looked at, they've been very successful programs and not a very costly program. Yeah. So. All right. And maybe, you know, I mean, if there's maintenance on it, maybe we get a deal with maintenance from like Revolution Bikes or something. Right. If they put a sign down there that says maintenance performed by Revolution. That's mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Like, you know, there might be a little advertisement for them and they do it for a, a good a good price or something. Right. Yeah. Or somebody. So, so with the grant, we're buying the stations and the 10 bikes. I, it's approximately 10 bikes. I don't remember what she exactly put in because when I had this agenda together, she was pricing out those bikes. So I just used that guesstimate number. Um, based off of that because she was still waiting to get some information as of late, so. Well, I'll make a motion that we approve it. I'll second it. Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passed unanimously. Approved bills? Move to pay the bills. I'll second. Further discussion? Yeah, I have a question. I was looking through the, I can't find it right now on the bills listing, but I noticed on there that uh, Bill was buying another, um, looked like a flammable liquid storage cabinet. If we'd use the cabinets out there we have already now, we've all, we would have an excess already. Those cabinets are not being used appropriately. So buying another one doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I don't know what he was utilizing it, that one for. It so. might be just to have it in an, another one in another area instead of having one all they've the way got, up They've got the excess area. already. They've got stuff stored in there, shouldn't be stored in there. Shouldn't be or doesn't have to be. Pardon? Shouldn't be or doesn't have to be. Should not be. So it should be in They're just flammable liquids, just flammable liquid, not paint rollers and gas cans and that kind of that, We don't want that stuff in there. The gas cans are fine, but not paint and all that kind of stuff. Well, do you don't even need a there. cabinet like that to keep some aerosol spray cans in? You can't put them in a flammable liquid storage cabinet. Spray cans? They're not built for explosives. I don't know what to tell you.
I don't either. That may be a conversation you need to have with Bill. Yeah, I just want I just want to not, make that point yeah, that we need to use tonight. what we got appropriately. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll make I can tell you that we've had an OSHA uh, review of all of that, and there was minimal things that came back through that. So I would assume if those were some things that were of concern, that they would have been brought up during that process, and they weren't that I'm aware of. So. Well, I can tell you there are things out there that don't belong out there. Plastic gas cans, we can't have those in commercial buildings. I it's, don't it's, think you can have a plastic gas can. Mm, anyway. Not unless it has a spark arrestor in it. So there's That'd lots of metal. stuff, and I just I just make a comment. Those cabinets are expensive, seven eight hundred bucks a piece. And if we don't need to buy one, we shouldn't be paying, paying for one. All right, that's I can say that's a conversation. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. All right, and I got a motion to approve the bills. Is there a second? Yes. Made it. Oh, I think Vic second. Vic, Vic oh. made it or second it. I think Vic I made the motion. Ken seconded it. I seconded. Second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I know somebody gave the bill. Yeah. <laughs> Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passed unanimously. Any other business? Nope. Chief, got anything? Paul? Charlotte? All right, we're adjourned at 6-11. <laughs>